Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. In our case, you have, you have the Samsung AT Book 2, I think. And this would work on other Samsung laptops. In our case here, uh, if you want to boot your Windows and you want to boot Windows from the USB and you're trying to boot and this happens, doesn't work. So what you're going to do, you're going to either switch off the computer, you hold it. So when it goes off, you're going to click the power key again. You start it again and click F2. So when you click F2, it's going to take you to the BIOS setup, as you can see. So you're going to click the arrow key to go to the, to the advanced. When you go to advanced, you have to make sure you enable this USB wake up support. You go to boot options you have to make sure this secure boot is disabled because you're going to use your own windows or your own operating system and also this has to be in the same way as you can see so in the boot priorities you can also go and check you have the usb which is the second one that we're going to use so i'm going to click control alt i'm going to save changes by clicking f10 then after I'm going to click F10 to go to the boot menu. So when you go to our boot menu, this is what we get. I'm going to select the option 2 and to ask me to click any key. As you can see, I can click any key. It's going to load the Windows files from the USB as you can see. And wait for it to load the files. And this will take a bit of a few seconds and... So the issues that happened whenever you maybe when the the, the battery goes off the windows you go back to enable the secure boot options so that doesn't allow you to install other operating system apart from the manufacturing system windows that they created so this will happen and to always lock you out so you have to go ahead and configure these settings by yourself manually so this was just a quick video on how to enable your speed boost options on your samsung laptops have a nice time goodbye